Hey guys, it's Dan from Mr. Grace Gaming and uh, first of all I want to apologise for the uh, quality of my last video in the top 5 uh, Sega Mega Drive games, I'll put a link in the description, but um, it wasn't the best camera and I'm doing it a different way, I dare you to guess how I'm doing it, you wouldn't know. First person to answer, I will legit send them a free game, a Mega Drive one not on N64, doesn't matter. If you get this right, I don't think you will. Anyway, rambling again. Um, this is my top five N64 games. Now, this is probably, I wouldn't say this is my teenage years, this is more like my late teens, early 20s, uh, when I, I think I can't remember how old I was when I bought this. I was working anyway, but yeah. The N64, my first proper four player, proper four player, I don't mean like you had on the old ones with the adapters, I mean proper four player, four ports, games console. So, I'm rambling. My first game is, not in, again, in no particular order, Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, some will say Zelda A Link to the Past on, I think it was the NES, or the SNES, I think it was the SNES, can't remember. That's the definitive version of Zelda. For me, it's Zelda Ocarina of Time on the N64. I think when I first booted that game up, I, I, I couldn't believe you know how good it was. The, the music, just the title screen alone, the music was um, ding, 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 you know, right? you know how it goes. But um, yeah, the. I started playing the game and I got so immersed in that game uh, fuck, I can't even remember how long I played it for when I first bought it the first day I played it, probably till bloody all I was but it was one of those games where I could, if, if the world annoyed me <laughs> which was quite often when I was younger if I was annoyed at the world and I just wanted to disappear for a day or two I would plug um, Zelda into my N64 and I would be lost in the world of Hyrule, and I think it was, I think, for me, I played Twilight Princess, I haven't played, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the other one on the Wii, Wii U or Wii, I can't remember, anyway, I haven't played that one, I played uh, Link to the Past, I don't remember, an awesome game, but this, for me, uh, is the definitive Zelda game, and if you haven't played it, you should definitely go and get it, buy it, buy an N64, you pick these up for like, Christ, probably about, 10, 20 quid now, which, what's that, 20, 30 dollars on the other side, I don't know. But if you can't, you know, if you can't buy it, find other ways to play it, because I think it's a brilliant game. And for me, it's the best Zelda game out there. Bar, bar none. I dare you to disagree with me. <laughs> My next N64 game is Super Mario 64. Again, a massive Mario fan, you know, I remember playing Super Mario in in the local calf down by me on the arcades first, then I think my mate had it on the NES. Then they obviously, you, you know, Mario games come out on every Nintendo um, system to date. But for me, Mario, Super Mario 64, it was the first Mario game to do third person. Third person with camera, rotating camera. And, you know, at the time the graphics were brilliant. The, again, the music was brilliant. The gameplay, what I thought was perfect. I can't think of any faults in the gameplay. It probably was, but I can't think of them right now. But the story, well, it's the same old story. The old bloody Peach has gone and fuck it off with Cooper somewhere, or Bowser, or whatever you call him. Depends where you're from. But um, I thought that was the perfect 3D adventure game, Super Mario 64, and I think, for me, Again, I think that's the definitive Mario game. I haven't played um, Sunshine, Sunshine Galaxy, so maybe I need to play that one, I don't know. But for me, Super Mario 64 is the best Mario game out there. And I still play it, I still play it. It's over there somewhere. But I still play it to this day, like all my games actually, I still play them. But if you haven't played it, go play it. Super Mario 64, play it. Uh, the next one, again, is another Mario. It's Nintendo, they only got about five good games, really, innit? But <laughs> they're probably on my list. But uh, my next one is Super Mario Kart 64. 
Again, the SNES version of Mario Kart, I used to play the hell out of that when I made it two years ago. Loved it, loved it. It wasn't, at the time, there wasn't a bit of racing game out. And then, Super Mario 64 came out on the N64. Obviously, you had four players then. You, know, you had split screen, you could screen lock to see where they were, so you cheat like hell. <laughs> like, him, like other N64 games I'm going to mention, but yeah, you could cheat. You know, you, the, the Battle Royale, um, Battle Royale? No, no, Battle Royale. Yeah, I think it's what called Battle Royale. Or just Battle Arena. One of those. Anyway, that was a load of fun. The actual uh, racing games were a load of fun. If you the blue shell, I you know, I didn't use the blue shell too often because it was always in first. But uh, yeah, that's that's a brilliant game. And I for me again, again I'm going to the definitive stuff now. It's the definitive Super Mario uh, Kart game on the N64. I did play the Wii version, I did enjoy the Wii version, but for some reason it was missing something. It was missing something with the N64, and I can't, I can't put my finger on that to be honest with you, but this version is my favourite version of Mario Kart. Uh, next one now, you all should know this. Uh, Goldman, James Bond. Now, I remember when this came out, at the time, well, it's saying that at the time, it's the same these days. If a, a game of, a video game is made of a movie, it's usually terrible, it's usually rushed, it's bad graphics, bad story, terrible gameplay, and that's the way it still goes, unfortunately. But for GoldenEye, um, I can't remember what time the film, the year the film came out, but I know GoldenEye came out about two years later on the N64. <laughs> and I still remember to this day, um, a boot in, buying GoldenEye, booting it up, and it was like, you can't get better than this. The game, the graphics and games cannot get better than this. And I generally thought that at the time. It hasn't aged so well now, if you go back to look at it. It's got low frame rates. Graphics not the best, but it is N64. But I tell you what, the fun you could have in a four player of GoldenEye is, at the time, it was unparalleled. That me and my mates, we would, have, we would be on this for hours and hours and hours of days, months, years even. I used to take it into work where I used to work. <laughs> you know, and we'd all have like a bloody, not a LAN party, but a proper gold night party. And I got quite good at it at one point. I'm rubbish now, because I've been playing gold night sauce, but it's different. But they did come out with a gold night on the Wii, and oh, it, was, it was it was gold night by name only. It wasn't, it was nothing like the original. And like I said, I know the N64 version hasn't aged well now if you look back on it, but I have very, very fond memories of GoldenEye. For me, it was the best four-player co-op at the time. Couldn't beat uh, that, that, just get, you know, getting in a room with your mates, four of you, or more of you, and just taking turns so you could beat each other. It was unparalleled. Uh, my last game is another uh, game made by Rare, who Rare at the time, I think this was, they were at the top of their game in these days, in the N64 days, you know, they've weaned a bit, is it A4? I don't know. But anyway, um, is Perfect Dark, which was sort of the spiritual successor to Goldmine. You had to buy the four mega megabytes. I am going this one. This is my other one. You had to buy the four megabyte accelerator card because you could play Perfect Dark without it, but it was a reduced uh, screen and you couldn't have. I think it's either two player or four player. I can't remember now. So if you bought that, you could have full screen, you could have full four player, and it just improved on the graphics. The story of Perfect Dark, I thought, was brilliant. The gameplay was brilliant. The levels were, I thought, were perfectly designed. Um, oh, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> but um, again, they brought out a Perfect Dark on the Xbox 360, which I did buy, thinking, oh yes, Xbox 360 version, and it was nothing like it. It was. It was you know, a shadow of its former self on 360. But on Xbox Live Arcade, you could you can get the original Perfect Dark. Um, I don't know if that's backwards compatibility on Xbox One or PC. I don't even know if it's on Steam. If it is, I, I suggest you get it because I think it's a brilliant game. Again, a lot of fun in a four player co op. So much fun. It was brilliant. My favourite thing to do in uh, the four player co op was the. Um, obviously, because it was split screen. You know, I'd, I'd screen look. <laughs> it's not cheating because it's right there. But I'd see where they go, even if they're in and I'd have the 
um, the missile, the Nikita, it was called, that's right, the Nikita. And he could, he could, what's it called, guide the missile. He had a camera on the missile, he could guide it. He could chase it around, I, I would die laughing. Because <laughs> you could see them running away and then they, they just explode. It was brilliant, perfect, perfect gaming for me. But um, yeah, that's that's my top five N64 games. Um, do you agree with that? Do you disagree? What were your favourite uh, games? And do you own one of these? I think I think it's a nice looking console. Don't you agree? I think it's a very nice console. Like all N64s, my reset button sticks in now again. Design flow. But I think it was a very good console, quite a powerful console at the time. Pick cartridges, which was odd at the time, but sort of worked. But yeah, that's it. Um, leave a comment. Watch it, share it, like it if you like it. And like I said, tell me your experience with the N64. What were your favourite games? What you know? Did you play four player co op? I, I hope you did. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, I'll be back with another video soon. So I don't know which one it is. It might be a Sega one. It might be a Nintendo one. Who knows? Maybe Dreamcast. Who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.